This show contains scenes of violence, coarse language, and mature subject matter. Viewer discretion is advised. Look friendly, but I still wanted to take a minute to make sure he didn't have more people with him. I simply don't trust anyone now. Raise your hand in the air, sunshine, and you will not get hurt. Uh, okay. Come on your hand right. in the air. Interlock your fingers above your head. Okay. I think it's fine. No, it's okay. In life, you always have two choices. You either give a fuck or you don't. This time, I chose to give a fuck. Now tell me, you got any uh, friends walking around here? No, no, not really, no. You're not lying to me, are you? I promise. Stand you. up. Stand up. Kay. This way. I want you walking over there. No. Just over here, okay. okay. Keep going. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Got a good eye, by the way. I eat my carrots. If I can see any of your friends or anybody here trying to uh, save you, not gonna be a good ending for you. What's your name? We'll start off with that. Oh, you can call me Buddy. Buddy? <laughs> Is that your actual name? Yes, I, I promise. Still wasn't sure if I should risk my life for this kid. Nonetheless, I thought I'd follow a bit. Stick around. Where are you taking me? Here, turn left, up to that tree, over there. That's it. How old are you, buddy? I'm 17, sir. 17? Yes. Just in hell. Oh. No wonder you stink of shit. Oh. It's probably the fish, if you don't mind me saying. Right. That's disgusting. Is that all you do real life? You sit around catching fish? No wonder you're a fucking sad bastard with no friends. It just <laughs> helps me take my mind off things, that's all. <sighs> now then, I want, to, uh, I want to just get some more information on what you were saying earlier ago about uh, having your own time down here, being safe. I'm just gonna uh, tell you something, alright? I need to teach people like you. But you can't escape from anything. Okay. So I'm gonna have to do something drastic and nasty. So I'm gonna have to ask you to raise your hands in the air. Alright. I'm just gonna Well, oh. you put him up, a little motherfucker. What are you doing? Hey, you turn around, you die oh, instantly. All right, who the fuck I That's am? Right. Put your hands up. All right, back away, back away now. All right, I'm backing away. I promise I don't know who that is. I've never met him. He's not. I'm not trying to get you. In. Oh. oh, you fucking done it now, sunshine. I don't I know this boy. I want that to be clear. I just saw an innocent guy get holed up by someone who seems like he's a little trigger happy. Now, what the fuck brings you here? What the fuck brings you here? Oh, this is my, this is my home. I'm allowed to be here. So, I don't give a shit. Please, please get over here. Hey, boy, come over here. Put your hands down. Mr. Blue? I'm coming. All right, Mr. Now. Blue. I'm coming, all right. He's all right. wearing a lot of blue. Sue me. Right. Get over here, come on. I'll call you Mr. Black then, should I? Whatever suits your fancy, boy. Now, come on. The only question racing through my mind was should I let him live or should I kill him? 
What is your godforsaken fucking name? Kelly Wick. Kelly Wick. Well, interesting name. You're not gonna do anything funny, huh, Mr. Blue? No, goodness, no, I won't do anything, I swear. I promise. All right. Sounds good to me. The fuck you doing holding up a poor innocent boy like that? Look at that. How old are you, kid? I'm 17, sir. See? You picking on some kids? The fuck's your problem? Huh? What am I gonna do with you? Cause if you're picking on kids, what else you doing? You raping women? Is that what you're doing? You going around doing whatever the fuck you want? Oh, no, 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 no. That is not what I'm doing. Well, what were you gonna do with this kid? Definitely not. Teach him a lesson. A lesson for what? And I'm not to be a little pussy. Get down on your yeah. knees. Right now. I have no idea what I've been through. So, <sighs> this man was bothering you. And you're a little corner of heaven, right? I guess it's an accurate way of putting it. I just don't understand why. My corner of heaven. Get his little bitch ass out of here. You wanna fuck with me? <sighs> you really wanna go there, boy? So, little scum like you, you know, I'm sick and fucking tired of seeing. of seeing people like you going around doing whatever the fuck they please. You know, since I've been in this fucking country, all I've been is held up. That's right, my little sorry pricks like you. Sometimes they're in a large group of pricks, and sometimes they're alone. It doesn't really matter, because they're all the fucking same. All they want is to hurt, torture, steal, rape, kill. I ain't got no clue why people like you think the way they fucking do. They're frankly, get Step sick of it. Step into my shoes. Step into your shoes. I wouldn't want to do that. Not anytime soon. You want to know why? Why? Because I would not like to be in a dead man's shoes. Some bad things to do. Mr. Which I assume you have as well. I do have so better things to do. why don't you put your gun down and just leave? Uh, or what? Or what? Because if I do that, I, I quite frankly know where this is going to go. You are going to hunt me down, and you are going to end up killing me. Or worse, this kid here. You sure you're just going to back away and go live your pretty little life? No. You're either going to assemble with your buddies, or you're going to kill me on your own in just a few moments time after I let you go. Like I said, friend, I wouldn't want to be in a dead man's shoes. <laughs> My goodness. What did you just do? Calm down. This man was going to kill you, friend. Like all the others. I didn't need to die. <sighs> Listen to me. <sighs> Listen to me good. What's your name? It's, it's, it's Buddy, sir. You, you can call me Buddy. You don't need to be afraid of me. I ain't gonna hurt you. I know what you just saw speaks otherwise, but I assure you, this man was a bad man. These people, Mr. Buddy, they go around hurting other people. That's all they do all the time. I'm sick of roaming these lands, and all I see are bodies of innocent people rising while the bad, they just keep living. Do you see something wrong with that? I understand what you're saying, and uh, I can't disagree. I, I know. I... I used to be afraid of one thing, buddy. Of them roamers out there. That's all I was afraid of. And then one day that changed. I started being afraid of people. It's not the roamers we gotta get rid of. It's people like that. And that's what I just did. I got rid of something real bad. A shit stain in this new world that we're living. We got away from the area in case he had some friends. I also didn't want to leave this kid behind. Thought it was a good time to have a little chat. If this'll have to do, I can't really go further. We got a good view all around us. If there's any of them, I'll see them coming from a mile away. Uh, if you don't mind, I'm gonna have a seat. Uh, so, you say your name is Buddy, right? That's right, yeah. Fancy name. I like that. 
<laughs> My name's Sam. Well, it's not really important where I'm from and what I'm doing. I'm tired of telling my story. It's hard to trust nowadays. But I saw you. And I heard your whistling, and uh, I was just about to say hi. And then I saw that man. I thought maybe he was a friend. Nope. He pointed that gun. He made the decision that took his life. Have you ever taken a life? You look quite shocked back there. Well, uh, you see, I've, I've not really told many people this, but I have, but it's not what you think, really, I promise. I know it has to be done. And you do too. <laughs> have mercy on me, buddy. I don't want to become one of those things. I don't want to be alone and suffer until I die. I'm ready. It's okay, buddy. Danny, I'm coming. Sorry. I mean, that's not easy on anybody. I've had to do the same thing as you, so you don't need to worry. I ain't gonna judge you. I've taken many lives, buddy, because we have to. I'm quite surprised you didn't have to take more than what you did. How'd you survive so long? Well, I guess the coward's way is the way to see the next day. I'm not proud of it again, but to keep my head down low, keep my nose out of other people's business has just kept me by. I have had some close friends like uh, JT that I told you about, and well, to be honest, I, I think I'm just bad luck or something, because uh, I don't know how to word this, but uh, people just have a habit of passing around me. You and I share more than you think. I had a group of people who trusted me, do the right thing, keep them alive, but I failed. My niece, my sister-in-law, so many. I know they're in a better place now, but have to live with the fact that my decisions brought many deaths. I live with that pain every day, but those people died through the hands of other bad people. Anyway, ever since I got here, it's been worse. Everybody I'm bumping into, they seem like they're hungry for something. And when you think you meet a nice guy, he turns on you, just like that. Then I saw you. I haven't seen anybody your age, just wandering around, at least not yet. I felt like I had to do something. <sighs> Maybe it's a way for me to redeem myself from all the painful memories, the things I've caused, the losses, trying to pay it forward. I've come to know quite a few people in my uh, time since things fell apart. A lot have come and gone, and some have lost their way in their lives. But well, I've come to know this country quite well. I've, uh, I used to live on the island of Scalicity, just further southeast from here. But you see, I left because it just, uh, I wasn't always alone. I, I did have a family living there with me. Uh, as you can imagine, things happened, and I had to do things, things that I'm not proud of. You seem like you're the most sane person so far that I've met. Somebody who's got a head on his shoulders, It's not going crazy. See, I took my chance. I'm glad I did. If you don't mind the company, I think you trust me enough. I just saved your life, right? <laughs> got any place that we can go? Mm, yes, I, I do, actually. Uh, not too far from where you first met me down by the coast. It's uh, nothing too fancy, but it's... A place I can call my own. Sounds good. Leave the way, buddy. My brother's situation is fragile. I can't just trust anyone. For all I know, this could be the kid holding him in a cell. But to me, he seemed alright. So I'd stay the night. Well, this is home. It's, uh... I just love the view. The fresh air that's been all the salty sea and all the fish you can catch. You like the fish? Uh, that's actually... Well, I, it was... My profession. I was a commercial fisherman with my father. That's pretty handy nowadays now, is it? <laughs> it's definitely a good lifestyle. So I, whenever I find someone, I always offer them a few fresh fish. Make as many friends as I can, you know? Better than making enemies, that's for sure. It's alright if you don't want me to stick around, buddy. To be
be quite honest, I'm a little bit too trusting for my own good, but after earlier, please, stay the night, stay the week, anything, anything in there you see that you need, please, help yourself. I appreciate that. I don't want to take your belongings, though, but I could use some rest. A nice, cozy tent like this, I mean, it's going to feel good, better than sleeping under the stars. <laughs> well, if you don't mind, I'm going to get some shut-eye. Please make yourself comfy. I take you up on that offer. I'm going to go sleep. Thank you again, Sam. It's, it's a great pleasure, and I really owe you my life. Honestly, this, this is just really nice. No problem. You rest well. I think I will tonight. Now that I got rid of that shit stain in this area. Good morning, stranger. I, I apologize. I, I was just trying to fit his tent here. Oh. Yes. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, I need a smoke. I told Buddy about my running with the horsemen. I also told him what I thought about him. And I was just there at the wrong time. So I got out. So did Casey. But they're clearly... They mean business. Those are the kind of people that need to be taken care of. They go around like they own this land. Like they can do whatever they want. Well, that, that sounds like the very same people that I know of, and, uh... I just made it a point to stay out of their way. But things change, you know? Maybe they're not destined to survive either. I, I'm a firm believer in karma, yeah. I think. What goes around comes around, you know? Absolutely. Listen, I'm... I'm gonna go to the gas station. Look for smokes. You keep doing what you're doing, okay? Of course, yeah. Hey guys, remember to comment, like, share, and subscribe for more. Don't forget to turn on the notifications so you're notified when a new video is uploaded. Thank you all so much for the support.